Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Welcome to another episode of the Lightwork Experience. We got some new sponsors on deck for our athlete of the week, but you know what? We're gonna introduce you to them a little sooner. Right now, today, we got some highlights from the first round of the Doc Edwards Invitational Tournament, and it was special. Let me introduce you to our new sponsors, Brighter Future Counseling Services. You know Ricky D and Yamika Evans. I didn't know they got down like this. They got a functional family therapy program. It helps our families understand the root of their child's delinquency. Round one of the Doc Edwards tournament was a warm up. For a lot of teams, a lot of teams still shaking off their vacation. They ate good. Some of them still eating the leftovers. I see you, coach. Logan Sport trying to fight back down eight early. The Tigers get a bucket on the inside, but the defense was trill for the Lady Knights. That led to fast break points. Once they opened the floodgates, it was too much. Tay Tay Baber, she led the way with 28 points. Woodlawn picks up the win in round one. Lakeside taking on a team out of Lakeside. Shout out to the Booker T. Washington Lions. BT moving different this season. Coach Sykes, he got him playing with a lot of confidence. Everybody has the green light. Nick pulls up from the top of the key. That's money. Jacoby gets out on the break. That's two more of them things. It's either get down or lay down. The Lions ain't laying down this year. They pile on the bucks and pick up a big win over Lakeside in round one. After that, it was Airline in Haynesville. Kayla Hampton, she led the way with 18 points on the night. E. Prater, she gave the Lady Vikes huge minutes and buckets, jumpers, and filet mignons. I see you. Tupac, how do you want it? The nightcap brought the best game of the day, Woodlawn and Red River. I went to grab a bite to eat. Riley Grace and the Benton Tigers picked up a dub. Then the boys from Cachata, they came in and they cut different. Old McDonald, he had a farm, and on that farm, he had some sons. Here one, here one, go. The Evan, he had the first nine points of the game. Then Stanley checked in underneath the basket. Fat Daddy, he stopped the run with a step back jumper on the baseline. That's an and one. That's tough, Fat. Then he finds Baby Brooks underneath. That's two more. Woodlawn fighting. Them boys from BT scouting. The scouting report for number 30, Red Walking Bucket. Donovan Seamster, he would stop Red River's run with a mid-range jumper. Just before the end of the quarter, Club Shay Shay was open. He knocks down the tray. The Bulldogs came to work. Coach Goldman firing up the troops. You know Fat Daddy always war ready. He gets the bucket on the inside. Shay Newton, he hits another tray. This one from the corner. But by now, the water was boiling. Buckets falling from both sides. Don gets to the rack and gets the finish. The Evan McDonald. He didn't miss many, and when he did, he was there for the putback. The Bulldogs maintained a nice lead in the first half. Seamster would cap off the first half with some bunnies. <laughs> Halftime, it was all smiles for the love. On the court, in between the lines, it was business. D. Evan, he went crazy, slashing like James Harden. He was getting through the lane and finishing. Fat Daddy responds. Cross behind the back. He gets the finish. Oh, McDonald. That's a step back trayway. Bubba responds with a tray from the wing. One line hanging around. Remember the name. The Evan McDonald, he had one of them nights where 
you black out and you just ask somebody, hey, how many I finished with? <laughs> His brother say cut like that. Lil Bro said, I am too. Wait on it. D. Evan finished with 40 points and a dub. The Knights would fight back and make it a game late. But Red River, they hang on and they move on into that win column. Get your popcorn ready. Day two is already underway. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others.